This morning, National Workers Union is talking to Ms. Ida LeBlanc, General Secretary of the National Union of Domestic Employees. They are here this morning outside the Parliament building. They are waiting the arrival of the parliamentarian. Ida, could you tell us, give us some background to what's happening this morning, please? Well, we have, what we have in the Parliament is a debate on the gender policy for women. The gender policy. And we want to make our presence felt because um, we are calling on government to ratify the ILO Convention 189 on Decent Work for Domestic Workers. And this month, June, will make it one year since our Minister of Labor had made a commitment in Geneva that the government of Trinidad and Tobago will ratify the ILO Convention. Already we have Uruguay who has ratified the convention and we need another government to ratify the convention so that then it will be law and then member states must then follow the ILO instruments that they have. Once you are a member state, you're supposed to abide by the principles of the ILO. So we expect that the government of Trinidad and Tobago would do the, do the right thing for the 10,000 and more domestic workers we have here in Trinidad and Tobago who continue to be denied their rights under labor legislation because they are excluded from the Industrial Relations Act, they are excluded from the Retrenchment and Severance Benefit Act, the Occupational Safety and Health Act, and we feel all those are human rights violations perpetuated by the government. So we want our presence to be felt, and not only for the government officials, but the public at large, to know that there is a union called the National Union of Domestic Employees, which is in existence since 1982, representing the interests of domestic workers and also low-income workers in Trinidad and Tobago. Very interesting you see, there seems to be no kind of legislation in, in the books to represent these workers? No, all we have is a household assistance order that makes provisions for sick leave and vacation leave. They are also covered under the Maternity Protection Act. But the burning issue, what caused our union to be established in the first place is because domestic workers are not recognized as workers. And because they are not recognized as workers, you could work 20 years with an employer and she could fire you at her woman fancy and there's no means of recourse. So we want to ensure, and the ILO Convention speaks to the issue of bringing domestic workers up in line as all other workers. We are workers too. The ILO Convention says that. And we are calling on the Trinidad and Tobago government to abide by this ILO convention and do the right thing. And we hope that they have the political will to ratify that ILO convention to ensure that the 10,000 and more domestic workers that we have here in Trinidad are protected under labor legislation. We recall a year ago the launch at Arima. Are you saying since then you have not had any kind of interaction or contact with the labor minister? No. No, it remains the same. All we know is that something is in the making. You know, but um, the ILO recommendation speaks to consultation and things like that. So we want to hear something publicly from the Minister of Labor, whether or not that this ILO convention will be ratified. We want to know something. We want at least to have some kind of hope and something that we could bring back to our membership and letting them know that the government of Trinidad and Tobago really serious about ratifying the ARLO Convention 189. Thank you very much, Ayala Black.